Hi guys. Welcome to Wednesday. Chatty Kathy here. Thank you so much for listening again. So this past week, actually this past month, we've been talking about fluids. The best water to drink, what not to drink, which was last week. Did you guys listen to that? I'm not lying. All I did was find things and put things together. What have you changed? This week, we're going to talk about my favorite water. And then the week after that, we're going to talk about different water filtration systems, which is how I kind of started this in the first place, trying to find the best one for me to be healthy, right? Me to be healthy. So I'm just telling you again that I'm not offering any cure for disease or what ails you. This is just what I found out. This is what I believe. This is the way that I live. This is the way that I, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling my friends, I read, I researched, and all I did was kind of put it all together for you, the facts that I've learned, okay? And then I'm just sharing with you because I want everybody to be healthy and learn the things that I actually thought I was drinking good water, okay? Um, so next week, don't forget to watch for about the different water systems that people use, okay? So what have you cut out of your daily fluids since you listened to what not to drink? Hmm? What has changed about your daily habits? How many people have you told? Comment below. Please comment below. Thank you so much for um, telling everybody. Love, like, subscribe, and share so we can get to more people, especially if you want them healthy. And you want everybody healthy. It doesn't matter. They're your loves, your enemies. It doesn't matter. Everybody needs to be healthy. And then we can all change for the better and maybe make the world a better place, okay? Also watch my podcast on fluids, which is two weeks before, and that'll give you a huge head start to find out basically all the things, most of the things that water does for your body systems, that does for our lives, it does for our survival, right? It's not survival of the fittest, it's survival of the most adaptive, and thank goodness we have people just learning new things and teaching all the time. Pure water is God's and the universe's greatest gift to us. Thank you so much. And I and and do that every day too. Be grateful. Say thank you so much for the things that we do have to live. The first thing I'm going to say is that water is not supposed to have a taste. Water is supposed to be neutral. Water is used to flush out our bodies, the toxins and crap out of our bodies, right? Water is used to bathe us and our cells daily, inside and outside, right? Water is a solvent for all of our salts and all the inorganic minerals or the regular minerals that come into our bodies, okay? Water is used with the vitamins that we, that we take, that we get from our vegetables and fruits, um, helps with the antioxidants that come into our body. Water is supposed to flush out our two little kidneys, right? Our filtration system for our body. And it flushes out the liver and it flushes out the capillaries. It flushes out our lymph system every day. So the lymph system, remember, is our sewer system. It's about 96 to 97% water, and the rest of it just kills bad things, okay? Be careful. Drink your fluids every single day, okay? Water is the medium of our life. It's how our body communicates and talks with itself, okay? Water is also supposed to be the conductor for our electrical currents in our body, for our chemical reactions. So watch my water and fluid podcast, and it just and it'll tell you a little a few more things that water does for our body. So basically, it's really really important. It's the most important nutrient that we have in our body: oxygen and then water, right? Okay. Second, water is not supposed to supply you with minerals and vitamins and antioxidants. You're supposed to get those from your foods, or they do have other sources. A lot of people aren't getting those vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and all them from their foods. Well, you need to change what you're eating, okay? You need to find a way to get it from other sources. And, and in a couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about juicing. And that is a great way to get your electrolytes, to get your multivitamins, to get all the little minerals that you need, all your antioxidants. We're going to be talking about that in a couple of weeks, okay? The only time you need to be drinking the 10Ks with all the, and the Powerades and all that with all that stuff in there is if you're working out, okay? The only truest form of water with no minerals, no added compounds is distilled water, okay? This water has been boiled, it's been vaporized, and then they get in a separate container, which takes out almost all of the impurities, almost all of the bacteria, almost all the viruses, almost all the toxins, right? We're 70% water. 
and it fluctuates throughout the day and through our cycles, okay? Like our sewer system, we talked about the lymph system. It's 96% water. It's mostly water, and then the rest of it's blood. That water system has to be cleaned and flushed out every single day. So there's no leftover debris. There's no leftover garbage. There's no leftover cells that are growing faster and faster without dying, right? So since, you're, since we're mostly water, how are we going to filter it out several times in a day? Like I said in one of the previous um, um, podcasts, I would tell my patients and when I taught my son too, think of your body as a fish tank. How many times does that water go through that filter system to make those fish clear of disease and illnesses, to make them healthy? How many times? Many, many times in a day, right? Now, think about how many times that you... Um, change that filter and keep them healthy too. But that's a, that's another whole podcast. Okay. That's the same as our body. You got to filter it out. And the best way to filter it out was with really, really, really good water for you. Water needs to be recycled throughout the day, six to eight to 10 glasses. Remember we said that before. And at the end of the podcast, I'll tell you how much you're supposed to have in a day again. Otherwise, please watch the other videos, six to eight to 10 glasses a day. Now, if there's things going on with you, then you need to maybe increase that if you're sick, if somebody around you is sick, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, sweating, any of that kind of stuff. You need more water those days. You might need your electrolytes, extra electrolytes those days. Talk to your doctor about it. Absolutely. If you sweat a lot, you might need more water and electrolytes per day because you can lose about two quarts of, of fluid a day just by sweating, urinating, and exhaling. That's a lot. You got to replace that. You got to refresh that. Water is also essential for us to take a deep breath and breathe. Just breathing out, you can lose about a pint a day. Right? You got to replace it. You got to replace it with something good. Your human body does a lot of things for you, we talked about before, to help you survive, right? And one of the things is it can recycle about 8% of the water. But that's only 8%. You need a lot more for the metabolic processes, right? Your body's going to do whatever it can to help us survive by recycling. But that's only 8%. That leaves 92% or more that we have to obtain from our diets, from the fruits and vegetables, right? Their high water content, what, 74% water? From the fluids that you drink. That includes juicing. And like I said, we'll talk about that soon. So can you become healthier by drinking our tap water? Our drinking water, our municipal supply of fluid. Remember, I said this before, both podcasts, tap water has been treated and disinfected many, many times. It's just like a processed food, right? The materials that the water companies put in to kill the bacteria, to kill the contaminants, the toxins, the poisons, it does the same thing for our body. You eat that over your time, you drink that over a time period because it stays on your fruits and vegetables too. Eventually, it could hurt you very seriously. 700 to 1500 chemicals is what I said. Some people even said more than that, okay? And the water treatment system people, um, the facilities, they cannot check for every single one and put that many more poisons in our water, right? Because we're drinking it. People are drinking it. People are taking showers with it. People are giving it to their animals. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. We got to look this stuff up too. If you don't believe me, look up this stuff yourself. Please do. Please comment below, right? All I want you guys is to be healthy, like I'm trying to do to be healthy. And then we can change the whole world. Remember, I keep saying that we can change the world if we're all healthy. Take care of yourself first, okay? Call your water company too. Call, call them and just get the paperwork. And it tells you whatever's in your, whatever, hopefully it tells you whatever is in your water that you're supposed to be drinking and bathing with, okay? Watch my podcast last week on what not to drink. And take out your notebooks and pens because people had to rewind it several times, they said. And that was the longest one I had, one hour and 20 minutes, my goodness. We talked about inorganic minerals, the ones that we usually consume within our water sources. Remember, these are inorganic minerals. These are inorganic materials. Those are the TDS, total dissolved solids. Remember, they cannot be utilized in your tissues because we are organic. We cannot utilize 
inorganic things. And if it is, it's only like 8 to 12%. The rest of it gets stored, okay? TDS is, gives your water flavor. But why? To mask what? The chlorine smell? Whatever else is in there? I don't know. I don't know. You know? Comment below. Thank you so much, okay? All these inorganic materials within our water supply and, and actually in our bottled water too, right? And we're going to go over that next week consumed over your lifetime, all those deposits, like I said last week, go to the weakest body points, which is your intestines, which is your kidneys, and into your joints. Into your joints, arthritis, over a hundred of them, okay? Causes inflammation, and especially if you can't get that crap out of your system, even drinking the best water, sometimes you can't you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna be in pain. Arthritis really hurts. You're gonna get thickening and hardening of your blood vessels and that's how you have heart attacks. It mixes with the cholesterol, remember? And it forms thick plaques in our blood vessels. Thickening and hardening the arteries causes high blood pressure. It causes heart attacks and it causes strokes. And that's what is mixing with the cholesterol. It's the it's the TDSs in the water. It's the inorganic minerals and materials in the water. We cannot use them. I talk about it a lot more and what, what not to drink from last week. So please watch the podcast from last week and it'll explain it a little bit more. I'm not lying to you. I promise. I was so surprised when I learned this stuff. I, oh my goodness. But there's good things that come from all this, right? You can get the minerals from plants. Plants are really the only ones, plants are the only ones able to get the minerals from the soil, from the water. From the water, to the soil, to the plants. Only plants and microorganisms, the algae and kind of stuff that we also eat too, for it has lots of minerals and stuff in there. They're capable of directly assimilating mineral elements into organic molecules. Plants are the only thing that can change inorganic molecules to organic molecules so we can use them in our body. What is that called? We talked about it last week. Photosynthesis, right? Photosynthesis. Remember that big, long formula? I don't, and I'm not going to look it up. If somebody does know it, comment below. That's awesome. I really like those, those parts of my classes, too. So you can only have a plant or a microorganism that can change inorganic to organic so we can use it in our body. You know what? That means that you have to eat your good vegetables, people. You have to eat your good veggies and your fruits, okay? They called it the colloidal cocktails of marine or plant origin. So colloidal, that just means that you can use it in your body. Colloidal minerals actually have a negative charge, and our intestinal walls hold a positive charge. That means we can absorb them very easily. You cannot absorb the inorganic minerals. You cannot absorb them, right? Even if they're in a really good water dissolved with enzymes, really 8%. The only truest form of water with no minerals or added compounds, again, is distilled water. Do you need water with a higher pH? We talked about alkaline water last week also. Alkaline or ionized water, you can make it more acid or base if, with ionized water, okay? Alkaline water does a lot of bad things for your body. Bottled water adds many unnecessary poisons and toxins to your body. So drinking alkaline water from an ionizer or from a bottle, there's other things in there. Remember, look at last week. Our drinking water should be around seven. That is neutral. And why does it need to be around seven? Because that's what our body's pH is, right? You have to, don't you think it should be kind of the same of what we're drinking? Now, I did have some theory, and I'll talk about it in a little while, okay? The kidney, no matter what you drink, basically that your kidneys are going to help maintain your body's pH. That's what they're supposed to do. They do a lot of other things, but that's one of the things that they do do. They're going to maintain a very stable pH level, regardless of what the pH is in the drinks that you consume. Plus what we talked about before, it messes up your stomach acid and all sorts of stuff. So watch last week. Okay. This is your body's job to fix and balance your pH within. Okay. But remember I said it has to be the right water for you to be balanced, okay? Maybe drinking water, and this is what I was thinking. So drinking water with a higher pH, maybe a little bit if you have a lot of stomach acid. A lot of people have reflux and high stomach acid. So maybe drinking a little bit of alkaline water 
could calm your stomach down. I'm not sure if it does. This is just a thought that I had, especially if you're taking medications for long periods of time for your stomach or high acid, okay? And, and if you do take medications for that, you know what it tells your body? It tells your stomach that you actually need to make more acid to stay balanced. Your stomach acid has to be a certain time, a certain uh, pH, and it has to be a certain amount to digest your food like it's supposed to, to digest your proteins, okay? So be careful taking medications like that for a long time because you are messing with your stomach's brain that, oh, we need to make more acid. Oh, but you're taking it down. Need to, now, if you feel bad, I'm just saying, maybe you could drink a little bit of alkaline water. I don't know. Ask your doctor about it, really. Do you think maybe that's a little bit better than taking medications? Also, you could have too much stomach acid compared to not enough stomach acid, and you could still have some of the same symptoms. So be very careful. Figure out which one that you have, okay? Find out which one that you actually have. You have the right amount of pH in your stomach, but you don't have enough acid in there, or you don't have enough acid, or the pH is not the right, or the pH is not the right acid level. Your stomach is always going to try to make more if you're taking medications, or if you don't have enough stomach acid, because it wants you to be balanced. Okay, so be careful and figure out which one that you actually have. Okay, you could still have that little feeling in there with both of those, because your stomach is trying to jam out. And if you kind of mess it up with drinking too much alkaline water or taking those medications for a long period of time, sometimes you need them, you can be messed up in a big old cycle of trying to be balanced, right? And who's going to win? Not your body, not with all those side effects of the medications too. So a higher water pH, maybe a little bit at a time, might help your reflux. It was just a thought that I had. Why else would we have such high alkaline water? I don't know. I'm just kind of putting that out there, okay? But don't drink alkaline water every single day. Don't do it. Check my podcast from last week, and I'll kind of explain that a little bit more, okay? The main thing is to, to keep your body more alkaline. What do you, you eat more alkaline foods, right? Acidy foods or animal products and processed foods. Alkaline foods are veggies and the good stuff and whole foods, right? Yes. So are we supposed to really drink alkaline water? Does it really help as much as we think? Mayo Clinic says no. A lot of other clinics and doctors say no. Don't drink alkaline water. The main thing, too, is babies should not drink alkaline water. And I'm going to say that in every single podcast about fluids. Babies should not drink alkaline water. They should drink at a neutral. And we're the same. So we should drink neutral water, too. So should the children. Okay? Babies need to drink breast milk until around the age of one. Talk to your pediatrician. But definitely no alkaline water. Okay? And no sodas and Kool-Aids, and energy, and sports drinks for the babies. Don't do it. And if you're mixing formula, please use distilled water. Babies can drink distilled water, okay? Comment below, like I said before, and what you've seen, babies and toddlers drinking, walking around, holding soda cans and big gulps. Do they even have those anymore, those huge drinks that you get from gas stations? I'll let you guys air all that out. I'm not going to get upset today because this is a good day. We're finding out what we're supposed to drink to be healthy, right? Um, okay, so what else? We have to talk about bathing. Yes, bathing. You have to have good water on the outside too. So you have to wash your body from the inside out, and you have to wash your body from the outside in, and it has to be a good water. Just drinking your 10 glasses of fluid a day, your 10 glasses of a good water a day, it really doesn't clean out your whole body. It might help filter out the kidneys and filter things out, but it doesn't really clean out your tubes, which is your digestive system, okay? Drinking even the best water does not help your vessels, which is your blood vessels and your digestive system be unclogged because water does not carry enzymes and elements into our body like a fresh fruit or vegetable does okay normally water will not carry the enzymes and elements to do that sometimes they add things in there but if it's heated at all the enzymes are dead right but you can get all that from fresh fruits and fresh vegetables right you gotta eat your natural stuff all of the nutritional requirements that the human body needs to survive are found in plants. 
promise. All our vitamins, our proteins, amino acids, our enzymes, fatty acids, carbohydrates, our sugar, it's all found in fresh fruits and vegetables. And you get the water from the fresh fruits and vegetables. How much water are they? 74%. And you get the fiber that scrapes out our vessels and really declogs and detoxifies and cleans us out, right? The water from those fresh fruits and vegetables, oh my goodness, it actually helps all that nutrition be absorbed into our tissues and our cells. And then you're drinking your good water too in between your meals to help flush out and clean out our system. So don't drink water that's loaded with a bunch of chemicals, a bunch of inorganic materials, a bunch of toxins, higher pHs that your body possibly cannot handle, but you're not going to find that out, what, until later on when you start having problems, okay? You can't absorb inorganic, right? Even if they come from our very own earth. And like I said before, the chemicals and toxins, you can be taking those up really, really quickly in your system, starting from your mouth. The best water, and I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it forever and ever now, the best water I have found from many, many sources for us to drink, for us to bathe in, for us to give to our animals, maybe even wash your car. How much do you love your car? Actually, a lot of people love their car. I wouldn't waste, I wouldn't, unless you can get a lot of distilled water. Distilled, distilled water, right, right? Anything that you love should be bathed and given distilled water, okay? And like I said, I would not have even thought about distilled water in that way unless I started to try to find a filtration system for my house. That's why I was like, what? And I almost bought one. I was narrowing it down to one or two, and we'll talk about that in a couple weeks. And I bought this big bottle of 9 pH. Nobody's ever told me to drink distilled water for my health. My doctors never told me to drink distilled water. Many doctors say that distilled water is great. I said this before, Dr. Bannock said, distilled water is the greatest solvent on earth. The only one that be, can be taken into our body without damage to the tissues. Without damage to the tissues, okay? So, and I told you how to make distilled water and we'll talk about it again next week. They boil it, the evaporation and steam goes into another jar. This is your distilled water, pretty much free of everything. The steam is separated from the bad poisons and toxins and the TDSs and the minerals and chemicals and viruses and bacteria, whatever's over here, does not make it to the side. Fresh, clean, pure H2O. And it's really pure H2O. The only thing that in there is hydrogen and oxygen. That is it. There's nothing else in there. They can't lie about this, okay? One thing that is the best about most of this, besides trying to be really, really healthy and going to be really, really healthy, is they cannot lie about distilled water, okay? They can film about sugar. They can film about organic, because like, for, and I'll do an organic lecture too. Only one thing has to be organic in the packages, the prepackaged foods that you guys buy, and they can still call it organic. Only one thing out of the 26 things in there have to be organic. One thing, and they can call it that. Some water bottles I found, and I can't, I'm not going to name what it was, but just read it. Purified or distilled, written right on the bottle. And what did I say last week? What did I say? If there's anything added to the water, it's not distilled. It's not pure. Remember, your kidneys are going to help maintain your body's pH. You got to give it a great water to do this. Keep your body healthy with the right foods, the alkaline foods. Keep your body healthy and ready to go with the perfect drinks. Keep your body and mind ready to go with that happy attitude, that happy, loving attitude. So you're going to feel it when your body is cleaned out, when your body, and I'm not talking about going poop either, when your body's cleaned out of all the toxins and it takes a little while. It did not happen overnight. How old are you? Do you want to comment below? Okay. One thing people argue about, you can't measure distilled water. You cannot measure the pH, excuse me, of distilled water. It's inaccurate. You know why? Because there's really not enough ions present or the ions are neutral and it's hard for the electrodes to pick up the charge to see what the pH is. So usually it's supposed to be seven. It's supposed to be neutral, but because it can't really find the ions, it's actually going to measure a little bit less than seven and that's acidic. That is not good, but that is not the pH of distilled water. 
it is neutral, okay? Distilled water leaves no residue in your body of any kind because it's pure water. It's pure oxygen and pure hydrogen. Somebody mentioned the other day about um, extra hydrogen, hydrogenated water. I haven't looked it up yet. I will um, look it up for the um, podcast on which water system. All I know is that extra hydrogen added in usually causes an acid. I have to look that up though, okay? Somebody, other people said that distilled water is going to leach out our minerals. <laughs> They're not going to leach out organic minerals because organic minerals are actually part of the cells. And they're part of our tissue structures. Inorganic materials might be stored there, but they cannot become part of the structure of our body. They cannot become part of the structure of our systems. Distilled water is not going to leach out your organic minerals because your body is using that. They're attracted to the cells, but it's not going to leach out the bad ones. It's going to go there and leach out the inorganic toxic minerals that are building up. Your body can't use those anyway, right? So it's not going to leach out your minerals. It's not going to take your vitamins away from you. Drink your distilled water and it will help get rid of the inorganic toxic minerals that cause all the problems that we've talked about several times. Distilled water dissolves cell wastes. It dissolves inorganic materials so your body can remove all the toxins. Since the body's, since distilled water helps remove waste from your organs and your tissues, wouldn't it be better if it was a fresh, pure water with nothing else in it? Because then it can carry more crap out of your body. Hmm? If, and then it can carry more nutrients to your cells too. Like I said, distilled water is great for humans and it's great for animals. Okay, a Distilled water is the most ideal water for our kidneys, for our liver, for our stomach, for our lungs. So what does that mean? For our whole body. Absolutely. It's a perfect fluid for our blood system too, right? Distilled water is used universally for biomedical applications. Researchers use those in their studies. They use distilled water when they make our medications, right? Hopefully they're using distilled water in your baby formulas. And you should probably do that at home also, okay? When I was ordering my distilled water to be delivered to my house, the Kwanda, love Kwanda, said that um, she gets a lot of dentist's office that order distilled water. Your teas and your coffees are going to taste better if you use distilled water, okay? Distilled water suppresses your appetite naturally. I told you that last time, too. So I guess I'll be adding that into my diet lecture at some point in the future. Good distilled water regulates all body functions. It keeps the skin from being dehydrated. It gives us healthy muscle tone. If you try to rinse your hair with distilled water and a teaspoon of vinegar, they say your hair is going to be really, really soft. It's better than the water softeners, which adds inorganic salt onto your skin and onto your water faucets and stuff like that, right? We can't use it. We can't use those things. It's inorganic. The only organic salt that I found um, is Baja Gold salt. And it has the least amount of sodium, too. One of the least amounts of sodium. We'll talk about salt, too. So that's great. Distilled water opens up your pores so you can breathe. If you're going to have that diet soda or that glass of milk or something, remember, you have to have 12 to 16 ounces of pure water after that to help clean that stuff out of your system, okay? So what kind of fluid are you going to drink? We are mostly made of water. The earth is mostly made of water. Plants are made of more water than we are. Men actually have a greater percentage of water because they have more muscle mass. Women are about 52% water because we have a little bit extra sub-Q tissue <laughs> and not as much muscle, okay? But just remember the percent can change, but it doesn't matter. We're mostly water. You got to flush that out every single day, every single hour. You should have been having something to, good to drink, okay? Eight to 10 glasses a day. What are we depending on? Our body weight. So it's half of our weight. That should be the ounces, depending on your environment. 
depending on the people around you, depending on your activities, and depending on your circumstances, okay? Eight to 10 glasses or more, depending on the other things. And it has to be a good, healthy, neutral, no additive, no toxins, no poisons, free of bacteria, free of viruses, free of environmental substances and toxins, right? Remember, don't overdo it though. Too much water is not a good thing. Water toxicity is not a good thing. It'll make your sodium level go down too much. Look up the, the maxes, look up that people should have. For your kidneys though, 0.8 to one liter an hour is the maximum for your kidneys. They can only do so much, okay? If you drink too much, you can overdose them too on water. Men are about 15.5 cups a day and women are about 11.5 cups. That should be the maximum. Sometimes it, it's, it might need a little bit more, okay? Sometimes you might need a little bit less, especially if you eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, you might not need to drink your eight to 10 glasses a day, right? Because there's an abundance of water in these foods already. And what I say, it actually strips and detoxes and declogs all your vessel areas, okay? Lots of water, lots of nutrients, lots of antioxidants. So absolutely eat those fresh fruits and vegetables. Then you have, don't have to say, oh my gosh, it's six o'clock at night and I've only had four cups of fluid. Hmm. You can eat a whole quart a day if you get your fresh fruits and vegetables in. What I say about 60% of your food should be fresh and raw, okay? 50 to 60% should be fresh and raw, and that's going to do so good. And you can saute them. When those when that broccoli turns bright green, that's far enough. So what is that, two or three minutes? That's it. Then you're going to get all the fiber, too. You're going to get the water. You're going to get all your good stuff. And then you're going to get the fiber for your microbiome. Remember I said last time, make your own fresh water. Add whatever you want to them. Okay? And then you can eat it at the end of your drink when you finish drinking it. I also drink coconut water. Try to fresh squeeze your juices. They're the best ones, okay? Make sure that the ones that you made yourself. I do drink organic teas. Be careful of what you put in there to, in to make the tea sweet, okay? Then watch my sugar lecture. And of course, I use distilled water in pretty much everything now, okay? And I, I wish I would have known this information sooner. And I do apologize 10 million thousand times with so much love that this should have been the first podcast you have to start cleaning out your system that would have been six months ago i'm so sorry but that's okay we can start now think of how we're going to be in six months okay think we're going to how be how we're going to be in six months even when i drink my axio from life vantage i put my distilled water and everything in my in my tea um in my tea kettle i make sure that i do that too because there's there is always a little bit of white the tds in the bottom of my tea and we use several filters Still not good. Still not good. So distilled water is at the top of my fluid list now. Hopefully, it's going to be at the top of your fluid chain. So you say food chain, fluid chain. Absolutely. And all my friends who believe in me without even listening to this lecture yet are drinking distilled water. Absolutely. It is the best one for you. Okay. I know you guys are watching. I know you guys are taking notes every single week. I know you're telling a lot of people. Um, I am telling everybody that I know I'm giving my cards out to everybody, even if they don't want to be healthy, maybe one out of 10 will be. And then that would be just one more person that I can make healthy. One of my good friends that I have now, her name is Kwanda. She works for Blue Summit Water. And they're the ones I found that have glass distilled bottles that can be delivered to your house, okay? I, like I said, I couldn't keep going to the store and buying the gallon jugs. Now I'm figuring out actually how much I drink in a week. I'm going to be healthy. Kwanda knows to listen now. That's my girl. She's good. She was so helpful. She helped me with so much information. She helped me with the ordering process. What a sweetheart. Um, so I would definitely call them. I'm going to leave the link below so you guys can call them too. Um, and get distilled water delivered to your house or look it up in your area. Find out who delivers to your area and get that distilled water, okay? So huge shout out to my new friend, Kwanda. Thank you so much. I highly, highly recommend them. Distilled water is odorless, it is colorless, and it is tasteless. And it's mostly free of impurities and toxins. I'm not going to say 100% because nothing is ever 100%. But it's the cleanest, freshest water. And now after just taking a sip of it with nothing else in it, after drinking it for a week or so, actually it was probably three weeks because I had I was buying the, the other bottles. It does taste fresher. It tastes 
just like, oh my goodness, I didn't know water could actually taste this way without having anything in it. It really is the best water that I've ever had. I promise. Love, like, subscribe, and share, and drink your distilled water. And just see how it's going to make you feel. It will take some time to remove all the toxins and lessen some of the toxins that have been accumulated in your body that have been built up in your body systems over your lifetime. Okay. It's okay to give your children distilled water. It's okay to give your animals distilled water. Okay. Drink your good water. Take some deep breaths. Manifest all that crap out of your system. Just tell it, thank you so much for this great water and all this stuff is going out and I'm feeling better and I have more flexibility and my joints don't hurt. Oh my goodness. This is going to be great. Me and my healthy body now. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for listening. Remember, watch the water podcasts and what not to drink from before. The water that we do drink, I think the pH should be closer to neutral, and that's around 7. Definitely not tap water. Be careful of the bottle bottles. We'll talk about all that kind of stuff next week. Filters, different systems, okay? And then we're going to talk about juicing. That's the best way and the fastest way to get your nutrients. But you just got to be careful on what you're juicing, okay? Hugs to you, health, and cheers. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much. This is Chatty Kathy signing out. Mwah. See you next week.